Daddy, do a dance, please, so I can check the frame rate. But make it interpretive, like an interpretive dance. Wow, I love testing audio and video. It sounds like Skeletor. Oh, sounds like Cher. Oh. <laughs> Rude. If you could turn back time. Then you would find a nay. Oh. <laughs> Hello! Hello. And welcome back to What's the Safe Word? I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today we are a dog and pony show. Quite literally. <laughs> oh, you even poured me a drink? You're Thank you. Welcome. But really, today we are talking about pet play. And for those of you who don't know, we both are into it. Just a little bit. You might say I was barking mad. And I am more of a show pony. <laughs> Now that this bit is over, let's take these hoods off because it's probably hard to hear us. Huh? <laughs> Guys, you want to do the honors of knocking the bowl off the table? <gasps> this is why you never let ponies in the house. Daddy, what is pet play? Pet play is where someone puts themselves into a headspace that's not human and they identify with an animal. And when we say animal, we mean animal role play. It's not any actual animals involved. Animals are never involved. This is a role play where someone gets out of their head and into a different headspace. There are other videos we've done before, but we wanted to do another one because we kind of leverage the pet play community. My name is Pup. Amp. And that's kind of why we haven't talked about it in so long, we just assume everyone knows, but we keep getting asked questions about it. So I figured let's have some fun. Let's buy some weird random pet play gear you guys have been asking us about while also answering some questions that you guys had. Ooh, and I get gifts. You are a gift. <laughs> Cause you know what they say? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. What, what is it? <laughs> is it mouth? Yeah, no. Oh, you don't want to look like a gift person enough because it means you're being too. <laughs> Did you brush your teeth today? Oh. So, Daddy, are you ready to make fetch happen today? Absolutely. Fetch. Wait, wait. No, you can't. <laughs> fetch. <laughs> also, today's video is sponsored by Pup Space. I got it. Now what? Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. What are you gonna do if I drop it? Just went and got it. You're not gonna throw it again, right? No, you never know what a pony's gonna do. Fetch! <laughs> I'm ready to pony up. But that's correct. Today's episode is sponsored by Pup Space. And Pup Space is part of the Grokio Communities app, which is this app that is almost like a social media where you can talk and interact, answer questions, maybe review toys with other puppies and pet players that exist online. And we'll talk more about that later, but let's go right into the first item. Cool, hit me. No. No. While I get the first item though, Daddy, I want you to answer the first question, which comes from Nicholas Guerra. Guerra? Guerra. 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 Who asks, how do you start everything? In everything? Not everything. I, they mean pet play. Yeah, okay. So pet play. Gotcha. Do a little research and what pet you think you identify with. And every community has a community of pet players. Find them. Where would you find such a thing? Oh, if only there was such a space that existed where you could talk to other pet players. Huh. You might even get some tail. Ooh. Why don't you go ahead and open up the first package, Daddy? Um, is this... Game Grum set, go. Is... Rip it apart. Oh. Kind of bondage. Destroy it. Ah. Ah. Chomp ah. at that bit. Ooh, it's fuzzy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. It's soft and furry. Oh, I like it. Okay, do you, are you gonna go get some tail with the tail? Maybe. <laughs> get it out of your mouth. Wow, that is amazing. So, what this is, is the robotic tail. Oh my God, make me coffee. Beep boop, beep boop. <laughs> Alexa, turn on my tail. Did you mean ceiling light? No, <laughs> I didn't mean ceiling light. <laughs> this is the biggest tail you've ever had. I'm kind of excited. Anyway, answering the question, the best way to get started is just do what feels right. Everyone kind of pictures pet play, and for me, like puppy play differently. So when you ask someone what like a dog would look like if they started playing, everybody's gonna be different. Some people are gonna be very energetic, some are gonna be very stoic, some are gonna be very goofy, and... And so it's just what feels natural and right for you, but do it slowly, as Daddy said, educate yourself, and look for good resources. How do you put it on? It's heavy on this end and really light and fluffy on this end. So this is a tail from the tail company. And so it, you put it a belt through it right here. So there's actually a little flap here 
that accesses all the motorized bits. See, so Ooh. it's like it's like a Five Nights at Freddy's uh, oh. robot. Yeah, that's less sexy. <laughs> So it's a custom tail. It's really funny, actually. A lot of you guys wanted me to try this out. And then the following day, Facebook gave me ads for this actual company. Hmm. Funny how Facebook knows everything you want. Alexa, get me tail. Are you trying to shop for tail? Ooh, I kind of am. I don't think that's legal, Alexa. <laughs> I actually sent them a picture of a fur that I wore at one point, And I said, can you match that? But also maybe put a little white tuft. And I'm actually pretty impressed with the results. It's, it's very cute. But wait, there's more. Oh, there's a dude. Oh, what? <laughs> Are you Austin Powers now? <laughs> Hello, would you like to get some tail? Who behave? It was tailor-made so that I can actually control it with this little uh, device. It's like my little, hello? 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 Actually, I had a cell phone that had one of these. Do you remember that? <laughs> a cordless phone, they all have that antenna. It looks like a detonator. Ooh, look, you can detonate something. So, <laughs> let's get a belt for this tail and let's try it on and let's see how it works. Um, but I don't have a belt. I got it. I mean, I'm not surprised that you just had a, a belt lying around, but- You never know. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna try this on, but while I try this on, why don't you go ahead and answer another question that people have. Okay, what's the next question? This next question comes from Flare and Wrath, who asks, do you have to have a hood? Do you have to have a hood to do pet play? Um, no, not necessarily. I think lots of times you don't put a hood on when we play. Yeah. Uh, he's just in his, he can go into his puppy mode at any second, uh, and he doesn't need like, oh boy. Okay, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to focus here. No, go into your puppy mode. I'm trying to put this go tail. Go puppy mode! <laughs> Do it! Even though we're buying some silly fun gear, you don't need gear to get into a headspace. A headspace is just where you feel comfortable and where you get into whatever zone is needed. It's almost like meditating sometimes. Gear does not make you a better or worse pup player, but a weird wagging tail that just happens to light up, Ooh. it doesn't hurt. <laughs> you oh could, God. it's like Rudolph. <laughs> Except my butt glows and you know just how to find it. Wait, if you were a husky and you were pulling my dog sled and it got dark, I could follow the, your tail and like, hush puppy, hush puppy, or mush. I could, I could use a hush puppy right now. <laughs> Let me try this on. I'm gonna give you the remote Ooh. for some reason. I don't know why, Yay! but that's a good idea. So which button do I push first? A, B, C, or D? I mean, I'm always good with some D. You want some D? Okay. Ooh! <laughs> wow, you look, you got like rock hard on that one. I, this is the most ridiculous thing. <laughs> You're like, twerking. Uh, yeah, don't even need to move. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, ready? Here's another one. Yes, next setting. Ooh, that I'm one excited. that one got you really aroused. <laughs> this is the most, here, let me let me No! I wanna I wanna play with my tail. No! Daddy. Oh, that's off apparently. <laughs> B is off. Hey! Wow. <laughs> Did I say something? Wait. Wait. Good boy, good boy, good boy. <laughs> bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> okay, that's up. And it wags. Oh, oh you're sad, Bill. A Mel. controls the angle. Oh. And then B controls the wags. Okay, I'm gonna play with this a lot more later. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> oh my god. That's what? amazing. That what? is amazing. Oh, hey. So does it stay up or does it go down after a while? I think you can set it to different modes, different wags, and it just has some different modes. Daddy. Daddy. Okay, I'm I'm a fan. I think that the tail company is really fun. Um, oh, oh, can you sit in it? I can. Um, the tail company had lots of options from like dragons to foxes to to puppies to wolves. In fact, little succubus Ramona uh, asked if we were a type of breed or a type of dog or pet, and if that changed like how you acted. So what are you? I'm more of a a, a dire wolf. I'm always in dire need of. <laughs> I thought you were a German Shepherd. I am, I am. Okay. <laughs> but it definitely has a wolf vibe to it. Uh, I'm more of a German Shepherd, loyal, goofy. It definitely helps me to connect with my overall, I think I'm much smaller than I actually am whenever I jump on top for like some attention. And I'm more of a Clydesdale. I like to be a workhorse. Mm. I'm a little older, so I don't do all that running and trotting that all the little fillies are doing out there. You're more of a show pony, really. Well, I'm an old show pony. <laughs> 
All that to say, while we have the disposable income to buy ridiculous things so you don't have to, is this a hit or a miss? Oh, it is totally a hit. I totally, I want, you to, I want to see you wear that out. Oh my God. Could you imagine at like a puppy play night when we can actually go out and about again, just oh having God. that at the bar? Yes. You'd always be able to find me. So this is definitely a hit for me. Uh, I'm going to go get some tail while I get the next package. Ooh. You answer the next question from Glitch at BLFC. My favorite sandwich. What is a BLFC? Bacon, lettuce, and chicken. What, what's the F? Oh wait, there's an F there. <laughs> I'm bad at acronyms. <laughs> anyway, Glitch asks, to bork or to bark? Ooh, um, so what is borking? I'm gonna bork you with this tail. Um, I'm more of a bark myself, but it's not as powerful as my bite. So wait, isn't bork just adorable barking? Oh. That's not adorable. I think you might need to be seated for this one, Daddy. Oh my God, I like Oh. <gasps> Pony up, Daddy. This is awesome. I've totally wanted one of these. Somebody sent me this as a joke and I've wanted one ever since. So this is great. Can I, we try it on? I am almost kind of upset by how excited you are for this. Oh my God, I've wanted a Pony oh. up Daddy forever. <laughs> Open it up. <laughs> Oh my God. How does it work? This was absolutely meant as like a joke gift that people wanted us to buy, but I'm actually kind of impressed with how nice it, it is. It could totally work. It's kind of like a saddle. It just, does it just fit right around? Oh, please put it on. Oh, oh your, your, your saddle's on upside down, daddy. Yeah. You have to... This is why ponies need trainers. Ooh, and that works out like a girdle too. <laughs> Wanna ride daddy? Come on, puppy, ride daddy. Giddy up. How does this work? Save a horse, ride a daddy? I think my favorite part is that now there's a handle for daddy. <laughs> Giddy up. This is really a dog and pony show now. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you guys asked for this. <laughs> Let's go get a ride. I feel like if we don't test it out, people will be really upset. Ride your pony into the sunset. Hey daddy, did you, did you uh, expect this to, to be the episode today? <laughs> Oh, so there's nothing sexual about this. Okay, so we are demonstrating the daddy saddle. Again, nothing sexual about this. <laughs> when did you, oh. When did I what? Finish that sentence? Uh, become so spelt? Giddy up. <laughs> Mush. Oh wait, that's the dogs. Um, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, Don't thank, thank, thank god for the handle. You know, this isn't working very I'm well. I'm going in circles because you don't have the rain. While we're here, uh, uh, the Bay O Hazard asks, "What is your favorite or least favorite aspect of pet play?" Favorite? Yeah, favorite or least favorite. Favorite is you get to be something else, and it's fun and playful. Okay. Least favorite? Least favorite. Right now. <laughs> Jesus. What if I? Good job. <coughs> that. He, that means he likes it. Ah! Oh, hey, hey. D yeah. No, no, no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, down, 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 down. No. I'm okay. I'm okay. Great, great success on this one. Um, yeah. So, you ready to get back in the saddle? I'm just, I'm actually really happy that you enjoyed that so much. I did. That was fun. I want to play with it more. Well, Daddy, maybe this is a good time for this question from Daddy, who says, can a puppy be a top? Can a puppy be a top? If the puppy is a top, sure. The puppies can what do you mean be top. What do you mean if? If the puppy is a top, then yes, they can be. If the puppy thinks they're a top, they're really not, then they can't be. Lots of puppies are tops, so they're called alphas. There's betas, gammas, omegas. Well, puppy or pet play in general, they can be tops, bottoms, switches. I'm actually more curious, what does a top who is topping a pet player or a puppy in this instance do? We get questions about that all the time. Oh, well tops, they are there to give instructions, to give care, to be playful. Give treats? To give treats. <laughs> Where's your ball? Go fetch. We've already done this. No, no, no. <laughs> Fool you, me once. You get a treat if Shame you on fetch. me. Fool me twice. You get a treat if you fetch. What about horses? What do I give you? Sugar cubes, carrot sticks, apples. How yeah. about your Kindle and the new season of Lucifer? I can't eat that. And you know, I always see people looking for tops or handlers or even a, a pet or a puppy. If only there was such a place to find. Yeah, if there was people. just a 
space somewhere to space. find a pop space. Oh, somebody's at the door again. All right, All right. Get it, puppy. Uh, I'm coming. I'm coming. 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 Yo, bro. I'm your neighborhood dog walker. Do you have any dogs that need to be walked? Strangely enough, we don't. <laughs> what? I heard barking. Oh, uh, <laughs> there are no dogs in this household. I Sorry. Just want to walk a puppy. You and me both. <laughs> if only. Where can I find puppies? <laughs> if only there was a place to find puppies. Who's that? Oh, you know, it was just a local dog walker. He was looking for some puppies. He didn't know where to go, and I wish I could have given him a resource. Tell him we're going to pup space. You mean today's sponsor? Yeah. Today's episode might talk about some stuff that might not be super advertiser friendly. So we have a sponsor today, and that is Pup Space. When are we ever advertiser friendly? Sometimes. <laughs> so thank you Pupspace for sponsoring us today and go check out their app. And Pupspace is part of the Grokio Communities app where you can actually meet other people into other like-minded topics. Like there's a furry board. There's even a gainer board, which is like people into feeding and feederism. Mm, I'll be on that board. <laughs> I need to get you a feed bag. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and they just launched a puppy specific page where you can message, you can chat, you can look for people that are in your area, send photos. Oh my God, tell me more. Well, there's also a worldwide global page so you can find people in your area or you can search for people based on specific interests, identities, and just what you're into in the pet play or pup play space. What an incredible array of searchable criteria for every king. And when COVID's over, they do have a page and feature that shows you events in your area so you can look for those as well. And last but not least, if you sign up in the next 48 hours, there's a contest you could win. Where they're giving away five special Puppy Play prize packs, including hoods and goods from Mr. S. Leather and Mr. Pup. Ooh, I can't wait to win. Well, you, Daddy, we're part of the, the sponsorship. We can't win the contest. That's not fair. But what if I want to put the shopping cart before the horse? Well, then you should go to pupspace.net or download the Grokio app and go from there. Okay, I will. So thank you again, Pup Space, for sponsoring this episode. You can use this link, go down below. And thanks for the shirt. Yeah, yes, and they do have some cute shirts as well, which if daddy moves around, then you get an animated Pup Space gif. It's impossible to pass up. <laughs> next item though, daddy, are you ready for the next package? Yes, hit me. No. While I get the next package, why don't you answer the next question from Jazza John, who asks, who's a good boy? I'm a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it. that's all I got. <laughs> oh, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good, good boy. Hey, hey, where's my package? Oh, well, the last package today comes from For Fun. Ooh. That's, that's a bag. Oh my God. How many bags are there? Some great ASMR. Oh my God. <laughs> it's inside of bubble wrap. Oh my God, wait, it's a snake. No, okay. stop it, no. <laughs> ah! wait. I have so many tails yeah, now. Is this like what they wore in Cats? Are, they, are you gonna start yes. singing? Yes. <laughs> Memory, all alone in the moonlight. I don't think that's the song, is it? That's from Cats. Cat got your tongue. But... Okay, so this must be, you have to put it on, right? Yeah. Okay. It is a pet suit from For Fun. So these are specially printed, sublimated printed spandex of different pets or animals. They make lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. And also horses, puppies, cats. Oh, horses. Why didn't we get horses? Well, I wanted to get one just to try on first. We can absolutely get you a horse if you like it. But I wanted to, I just okay. wanted to make sure it was good quality. Okay, put it on. So I'm gonna go try this on, um, but daddy, while I do that, here, we'll find you another question. Do you need your rat tail? It's, not, it's a puppy tail. It's not It's not my favorite puppy tail, actually, but I like that it, it's detachable. <laughs> it's a detachable tail. Oh, so it does this? Hey, hey, that, 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 not yet, it doesn't. Uh, the next question from friend of the show, Mike MGTV just has this gif. Just <laughs> just a long, a long list, which I think means he has lots of questions, daddy. Ooh, yeah, give me your list, Mike. <laughs> In fact, everyone, if you're watching this, uh, after this episode, go to Mike's channel, his recent video, and just leave a random comment. What should they comment? They should say, Daddy says wolf. <laughs> Daddy says wolf. Anyway, let me give you a real question, which is... Look, I made a snail. Here's actually a really good question from Dagger, who asks, is puppy play only for guys? Huh, that's a very good question. I'll be right back. I'm gonna answer this very slowly at a snail's 
Apes. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I think it's for everyone, no matter what identity. I think that the puppy community just grew exponentially so fast because a lot of guys did it. But similar to pony play, where not many gays do pony play, it's more of a straight thing, but I don't let that stop me from doing it. So you do you, boo. Oh my. I don't know if you're ready for this, Daddy. This I'm is, ready. This is pretty cool. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Grr. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at you, you're not a cat. No, it's a, it's a wolf or it's like a husky dog wolf print. I like it, that's amazing. I'm actually really surprised how much I enjoy this. It's really cool. You, look, you actually look amazing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so I, I do need your help though, uh, zipping me up. Oh, <laughs> I can't, yeah. I can't reach it. Ugh. Wow, I like it. I like it a lot. I just want to pet you. Oh, okay, get, sit down. <laughs> hey, where'd that tail go? I just put it on you. Oh, hmm. I'm not so sure I like this tail though. Yeah, that makes you look like a cat. Can you pluck that for me? Butch. <laughs> no, 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 we, we're not playing this game. Maybe you should try your other tail on. So I just want to uh, say that I am not a furry. I had nothing against furries, but everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, I'm so furry now. I'm so furry now. He's got a tail that wet. Come on, you can't not enjoy a mechanical tail, a fun bodysuit, silly, but also kind of fun and sexy. It's very sexy. Oh, thank you. I think you look good. Oh, thank you. Save it for after the episode though. <laughs> Give me that. These are all super fun. This is absolutely a hit. This with the tail, with the hood, it's just, Role play. This is way better than Wish. <laughs> a little bit more expensive than Wish too. Oh, well. So while this is silly, the topic itself can get a little serious. Is it only for guys? Absolutely not. Everybody's welcome in this space, so long as you're respectful and you treat people nicely. And it's just about finding a community. While there are a lot of guys, sure, there's also a lot of girls and non-binary people that do education online. For instance, I really like Evie Lupine and Screaming Kiwi. They do great pet play stuff on YouTube as well. They're both good. Nay, great. Winnie, yes. <laughs> they are a Winnie in my book. They are a Winnie. <laughs> nah. But Daddy, where could people go to find other resources if they needed something on pet play? I have no hmm. idea. I think my tail has an idea. If you didn't know what was happening behind me, this might be a little naughty. Stop, stop. Can I tell you my favorite part of this suit though? <laughs> what is your favorite part? Just wait. So in the front here, you have toenails. The toes have Ooh. actual nails. I want to clip your nails. Hey, no, <laughs> get away. No, 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 no. Oh, look at the bottom. Oh, oh. they're so cute. Are they ticklish? No, not really. No, but look at, I, I love, just look at how, look at. Don't kick me in the face. Puppies kick too. No, horses kick. This suit's really well made. That That's probably my favorite from today. What was your favorite item, Daddy? Uh, my, the Daddy saddle. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm still so surprised how much you enjoyed that. I totally did. I like when you ride me. And with that, uh, Daddy, <laughs> last minute questions that I see in the thread. People think I'm a furry and I honestly don't think I can say no after this episode. Um, and also a lot about safety. Do you have any good safety tips for people? Wear knee pads, protect your human bones when you're playing and being rough housey and, and on all fours. Yeah, I always recommend if you don't have like mitts, put some socks on your hands or vet wrap, something to cushion it just a little bit, but also hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. You can lead a horse to water. And he will totally drink. I, we can only hope. <laughs> Especially if it's bourbon. Some horses apparently eat the water. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. <laughs> Horses are constantly hungry too. They're just graze and graze. See, that's why I like to graze. Would you say there were 50 shades of graze? <sighs> Never say that. <laughs> Honestly, I think the moral of today's episode is while Old McDonald did have a farm, it was made up of a lot of different people, identities, pets, players, and there's space for everybody on that farm because there's a lot of acres. E-I-E-I -E hope. And whether you're saying E-I-E-I Oh, or E-I-E-I, ho. -E -E Always have a safe word, and today's safe word is. Giddy up. Go. Let's go. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. up. If you want to let the dogs out, <laughs> make sure you leave a comment down below and also on Mike MGTV's page. And if you like these videos, press the like button and ring the bell if you like ringing bells. <laughs> Do you like ringing bells? I love ringing bells. I'm a horse. And I'm a puppy. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.
Poop. Poop, poop. Fetch. No, 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 no. Wait, let me get you I'm a guard dog, I am not a fetching dog. Ooh. I am fetching though, aren't I? Also, thank you again to Pup Space. Go check out Pup Space. Join in the next 48 hours and you might win yourself a hood like this. Popular, I know about popular. Teach you the proper poise. How to meet some boys. Little ways to flirt and fetch. <laughs>